Hey guys, Dan Capini. We're at the Activision booth. I've got Steve Vanderschmidt. He is the executive producer on the True Crime series, and you're running us through some content today, Steve. Thank you very much. And tell us about the True Crime. Why is the right? Why is now the right time to, to reboot this franchise that's been missing for so long? Yeah. Well, you know, I, I think. Uh there's always been a desire to reboot the franchise, but it was just waiting for the perfect time or opportunity to do it. And so when uh, we found the perfect location, we found you know the perfect developer, and we found the perfect story, we thought, okay, no time like the present to get it done. And you mentioned perfect location. We, we just saw a demo of the game and your reasons for selecting it. Run the, the, the guys at home through why you've chosen Hong Kong for the setting of True Crime. Hey. I, I think the most important thing is we were very heavily influenced by Hong Kong cinema action movies. And uh, we were really looking to take the open world gamer to somewhere that they hadn't been before. And you know, from that perspective alone, Hong Kong just made perfect sense. And the more we started looking into it and you look at the different sort of uh, the wide architectural range that Hong Kong has, um, you know, you got uh, a lot of areas down by the docks. You've got this great commercial, like, uh, central area with Soho and some narrow streets. You've got uh, night markets and things like that. So just the range of gameplay that we thought we could get out of it would be excellent. And, you know, for that reason, we went to Hong Kong. Can you give us some examples of the gameplay and how it will uh, differentiate the, the different parts of the city? Uh, sure. You know, there's uh, North Point, for example, is uh, modeled very much after Mong Kok, which is actually more on the mainland, uh, you know, outside of Hong Kong proper. But uh, it has a lot of alleyways, it has a lot of night markets, and so there's a lot of foot chase scenes through there where uh, you have to, you know, use the crowd dodging mechanic, you know, to get through. Things can get very congested, and uh, you have to have your wits about you, like, you know, how to get there. Whereas if you head to Central, for example, you know, the, the roads are a lot wider, they're a lot wider open. And, uh, you know, so choice of vehicle-wise in North Point, you might use the motorbike, whereas in Central, you might use a car, you know, to get around. So uh, down by the docks, for example, there's a lot of waterfront gameplay, so boats come into play. Um, you know, we have chases across boats, like in the harbor. Um, so it's very varied, depending on where you go. So tell us about the content that you're showing at E3 2010. Um, we're showing two missions uh, today, like the one takes place in one of the night markets that I spoke about. And, you know, that highlights, I think, uh, the chase mechanic you know that we have so you see a lot of uh, you know our free running system is much more ground based than in a lot of games that are out there right now we wanted to capture that intensity and that sort of gritty realism of chases that you see in point break or seven or blade runner you know with decade like running through the running through the market so uh, that uh, that mission focuses heavily on the free running and the hand-to-hand -hand combat system so you encounter a group of thugs and you can see the martial arts you know system in play you can see like a full offensive and defensive range of cap of, uh, of combat capabilities you saw a counter system which is really cool and i think probably the best thing about it is you know once you grapple someone and being able to move freely about with them and just bring the environment into play. Just sprint around with them, push them into things, throw them over the edge of rooftops. You know, it makes it all exciting. And the other one was uh, more focused on the, the gunplay. That's right. That was uh, more focused on driving and gunplay together. Uh, you know, that one, what we've tried to do there is, uh, you know, create a nice arcade sort of driving model, but at the same time layer a, a, an awesome, you know, again, like Hong Kong cinema style, you know, action component on top of it. So what you saw there was riding on the back of a motorbike, being able to free truly, uh, shoot freely, I guess, you know, uh, in, a, in any direction, being able to target, you know, enemies, being able to target vehicles, sub-target them. Um, you saw, you know, the main character fly off the back of the bike and, you know, use it as a weapon, like into a bunch of enemies. So some really like over-the-top action kind of stuff, which is pretty cool. And you're drawing from a real all-star cast on this one. You've got black box guys, you've got former rock star. Who else have you got in the mix building the game? Yeah, you know, it's, uh, I think uh, making open world games is, is, uh, is a challenge. So, you know, we knew that from the outset. And uh, so we wanted to get a team together that had experience doing it, you know, so that we could make uh, fewer of those mistakes that you tend to make making these games. You know, so the, I mean, like you said, there's a lot of guys that, uh, from EA that worked on Need for Speed, worked on Skate, worked on Godfather. Uh, you know, we've got a lot of guys from Rockstar that worked on Bully. Um, you know, we've got a lot of guys from Radical that worked on Scarface, on Prototype, on Hulk Ultimate Destruction. We've got guys from Saints Row. So, you know, a little bit from everywhere. And, you know, we're all pulling our collective experience together to make this a great open world experience. So, Steve, when can people actually get their hands on True Crime? Uh, right. Which platforms? More important? Okay, platforms are going to be uh, Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and PC. And uh, right now, the release date is fall 2010. 
All right, Steve, thank you very much for your time. And stay tuned to GameSpot for our ongoing coverage from E3 2010.